a very good morning to all so in the last class in social science we started with the chapter our school and what did we learn we learned about the different people in our school their role and responsibilities right and we learned that all the people who are working in the school plays a very very important role in running the school so today we are going to learn about different places in the room so there are different rooms or different places in the school where the activities where different activities are happening so let's discuss one by one the or the first place that is the art room so art room is a room where you learn to paint and draw you can see the picture here in the room you can see many pictures are hanged and you can see the things that is used in the art room so what are things that we need in the art room so we have the paint brush the drawing pencil for doing art crafts what all things we need we need color papers glue scissors so in the picture itself says what all things that we need in the art room art room is a place where we learn to draw and paint it makes us creative we learn to be more creative library so library is a place where there is a collection of books there are variety of books is it good to read books yes right it is very good to read books you know why because you will get more information about many things and also it increase your knowledge and even you learn to read so you have to read lots of books and the librarian is the one who issues the book so library is a place where there is collection of books the next place i hope all of you love this place that is the playground during breaks you all run to your playground to play so you play different games and sports right and even you have different slides in which you play which is the next place next place is the music room do you all like music i hope most of you like music so music room is a place where you learn to sing and you learn to play instruments you know what are musical instruments instruments like the keyboard violin guitar flute all these are musical instruments and your music teacher will teach you to play these musical instruments so music room is a room where you learn to sing and to play instruments computer lab so computer lab in the school so why do we need a computer lab so computer lab in the computer lab you learn many computer skills it is also very very important to you you learn how to use computer and you learn many things you learn computer skills assembly hall i hope you all are familiar with this place so in the morning in your school you all go for morning assembly where do you go you go to your assembly hall for your morning assembly and if there is any important announcement what do you mean by announcement any information any important information to be passed it will happen in your assembly hall your morning prayers are conducted in your assembly hall swimming pool so in the school we have swimming pool so it is a place where you learn to swim so do you all like love to swim actually swimming is very very good it is actually good for your health even you should learn to swim canteen so canteen is a place where you have your food and it is a place where they serve you food and you can buy the food and you can have the food in the canteen and what are things you can see in the canteen you can see the table chair where you can sit and have your food so these are the some of the important plays in your school the playground the canteen the art room all these places are very very important all these different activities are happening in these rooms So there is a small activity for you the activity is 
Talk about your favorite place in your school. So let it be any room. Let it be your music room, your swimming pool or your sand pool. So you can just talk about one or two sentences about the favorite place in your school. So once you have done it, you can upload in Microsoft Teams in assignment. Okay, so that is all about this chapter, our school. So what, what did we learn in this chapter? We learned about school. So school is a place where we learn many things. We meet friends, we enjoy with our friends, we make memories in our school. So there are different people who plays a very, very important role in our school, who helps in running the school. Then what did we learn? Then we learned about different places in the school. So each room or each place in the room, each place in the school is very, very important. And certain activities are conducted in this room. Now let's move on to the exercise. You can take page number 32 in your textbook. So let's start with the first exercise. Take the things that we should do in a classroom and cross what we should not do. So let's read one by one. The first one, use kind words to speak to one another. So is it right? You have to do it in classroom or you should not do? You should. You should always use kind words to others. The second one, hit other children. Is it good to hit other one? It is, is it a good manner? No. So you can cross in that box. So what about the third one? Listen carefully when we are spoken to. So when someone talks to you, do you need to listen to them? Yes, you have to listen to them. You have to listen carefully to them. So you have to tick or you have to cross. You have to tick in that box. Coming to the next one, share what we have. Is sharing is good? Yes, you have to do in classroom. You have to share your things with others. What about the next one? Tease a girl or a boy. You know what is teasing? Teasing means making fun. Is it good to make fun of your friends? No. So you should not do that in your classroom. Sixth one, help others whenever we can. Is it right when your friend needs any help? Is it right to, is, or is it good to help your friends? Yes, you can tick. Coming to the next one, never listen to the teacher. So we should not do that in your classroom. We should always listen to our teacher. The eighth one, respect our teacher. Should we do that in our classroom? Yes, it is not only in classroom, everywhere, wherever we go, we should always respect our elders or we should always respect our teachers. Coming to the second exercise. In the second exercise, you can see many tasks. So this is about how you get ready to school. So what you have to do is you have to arrange these tasks in the order. So when what do you do first? First, you wake up in the morning. Then you brush your teeth, then you take bath, then you wear your uniform, then you have your breakfast and you go to school. So you have to arrange them. You can arrange these tasks in the order from starting from number one. Coming to the third exercise. The third exercise you can see there are three places. So we learned about different places in our school. So the three important places are given. Which are the three places? Art room, playground and canteen. So you all know what all activities happen in these rooms. And what you have to do here is you have to draw and color one object that you find in each room. For example, in art room. What all things you find in art room? You can see different pictures. You can see different things that is used for the used for doing artwork. So you can draw any one object and color it. So likewise, you have to see what object you see in the playground, and you can draw and color it. And also canteen. You can see what things that you see in the canteen. Draw one picture and then color it. So you can do this as an activity. Coming to page number 34, 
So in this page number 34 is also a small activity that you have to think that is about behaving well. So do we need to behave well in our school? Yes. So we have to follow the school rules and regulations and even we should behave properly in the school. So now let's read three statements and we'll choose the right answer. So the first one, a new boy has joined your school. The students in your class make fun of him when the teacher is away. So did you understand? Imagine what a new friend, a new boy has came to your school. A new friend has come to your school. And if you are teasing them and students in, all, students in the class are making fun of them, is that right? What answer will you choose? There are two, questions, two answers are there. You do not do anything or make friends with the new boy. So what will you do? If you see others are making fun of your friends, what will you do? You do not do anything or you make friends with that boy. So you can, you can choose the answer. Coming to the next one. When two of your friends are fighting, imagine if two of your friends are fighting. What will you do? You try to stop them or you go join the fight. What will you do? So you can, you can choose the answer. The third one. When a teacher asks you a question in the class. So again, imagine your teacher is asking you a question. And you shout your answer or raise your hand. So how will you answer the question? Do you shout the answer or you raise your hand and then answer? So this one also, you can choose the answer. You can now, you can take page number 29 in your textbook, the first page. And it is, there is a small question given. Name one thing you like about your school. Let it be anything. So you can write one thing that you like about your school. So I hope you understood this chapter. And this chapter was all about our school. So why do we go to school? We go to school to learn many things. To learn to read, to learn to write. Not only we learn many things, but we learn to be a good child. So I hope you understood this chapter and read out this chapter one or two times and make it clear about the different people in our school and different places in our school. So we'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, thank you.